What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, J-Main, back checking in with the people. And today, I wanted to bless y'all. Bless y'all with the Sony E3 2017 predictions. Let's get into it. Now, I got a big list, but I'm going to try and condense it. That way, it's not I'm not here talking for 20 minutes. Now, to start the conference off, I think Sony's going to come back with that orchestra. I thought that orchestra was a huge, huge, huge aspect of their conference. What put it in a league of its own. Um, they were playing all their music themes through the orchestra while the conference was going from, you know, watching it from home was great. I'm sure seeing it live was probably amazing. So I think they're going to bring that orchestra back. They better bring that damn orchestra back. All right. Bring that shit back. I ain't playing. But moving on. First game I think they're going to show is the Sucker Punch IP. It's been three years since we heard from Sucker Punch. I think it's time that they show us what they've been working on. I hope that it's in a third person genre. It could be action game or i don't really care what it is i just kind of hope that it's third person because i think they nailed the third person gameplay um their stories have wavered a little bit um i thought the ps3 infamous games stories were better than the ps4 ones but it's been three years they've been working on something hopefully they can nail a, a narrative and the gameplay and please bring back that third person for your boy moving on i think the next thing Actually, I'm not even going to go with next because I can't really predict the order of the conference. I'm just kind of going to go with what I think we'll see. So by list of importance to me, I think we're going to get a new God of War gameplay trailer showing more about the combat, more about boss fights, and more about the open world-ish aspect of the game. Release date, I'm predicting March 2018. I don't think we're going to see many fall games from Sony anymore from the first party standpoint. Um, they got all these third-party deals. We'll see most of their games dropping from the beginning to like end of summer. The beginning of the year to end of summer, if I had to you know, do a prediction. Next up, Days Gone. Days Gone is a game that I think has a lot to show. Um, they got to show us why this is not just another zombie game. Show us what makes this game unique other than um, it not being zombies. They're freakers, so they're kind of alive at the same time. They just like infected in each you know, age group has a different reaction to the infection. Show us all of that. Show us more about the gameplay. Show us more about the open world. Kind of give us the horizon treatment for this game. Let us see all the aspects of it. Um, a release date for this game, again, I think we're going to see it next year. If I had to put a, a month on it, April, May of next year, we're going to get days going. Again, not going with 2018 for these games. I just, I just don't see it. I don't see it. I would love it. I don't see it. Detroit Become Human. Um, this will be the third time if it shows up at E3 that we saw, we saw this game. Um, man, what can I say about Detroit? I feel like this game is actually ready to come out this year. <clears throat> Again, will they drop it this year? Probably not. Give us another gameplay trailer, maybe another character. If they're going to drop it, maybe sometime in August or September, I could see this game coming out. It's kind of be in the thick of the holiday season, but I kind of think this game is ready to come out. And we just got to wait and see, but I, th I think it's ready. Um, moving along... Spider-Man. Spider-Man. <laughs> what am I saying? Spider-Man. Gameplay. We need to see gameplay of Spider-Man. We saw in-game footage of Spider-Man. Wasn't really gameplay in my opinion. Just what the game is capable of. Um, I need to see gameplay of this game. I can't wait for this game. One of my most anticipated games. Gameplay for this game. I don't think we're going to get a release date yet. Maybe at PSX, but I feel like it's coming out next year, later in the year, but I don't think we're going to see it a release date yet. PSX though. Book that. Um, Death Stranding, another game where I don't think we're going to even see next year. Death Stranding is a game from Hideo Kojima, who just really recently signed that partnership with Sony. He had to get a whole new studio engine, all types of stuff. So this game probably will get a, a character reveal, another character reveal trailer in the same vein as the other two trailers that we saw, but no gameplay yet, maybe at PSX and no release date, doubtfully. Um, me, me personally, I think 2019 is when we're going to see Death Stranding. But uh, you didn't hear that from me. Uh, <laughs> Dreams. Dreams is another game I think we'll see at this year's E3. Probably with a beta. I think they want to show us more about what the game is. Kind of get it in our hands and let the people speak for itself. Because this game has a lot of work to do. I'm not interested in it at all, personally. I like Media Molecule. But I'm just not really feeling the concept of Dreams right now. Show me a game that you've built. And I'll probably be more interested, but they've been showing us more about the things the game you can do in the game, like create. I need to, you to show us why this is a game. So a lot to do. Drop a beta. I think that will help. 
Uh, Gran Turismo Sport, I think we'll get another trailer with a release date for later this year. One of the few first party games that I feel Sony's comfortable with dropping in the fall because it's it has its following that people will support no matter what. It has been, you know, waning a little bit, but even the last one sold like 5 million or something like that. So Gran Turismo is like Sony's, I think, richest franchise. Like I think that franchise has sold them like the most copies. So we'll see probably Gran Turismo again at this year's E3 with another trailer and a release date for fall 2017. If I had to put a month, maybe November. Um, Now getting into some wishes for E3 this year. Bloodborne 2 needs to happen. I need to see Bloodborne 2. Um, there's rumors that From Software is working on a new IP. I'll be okay with that. But if it's going to be anything that they've done in the past, just bring us Bloodborne 2. That's all I need. One of my favorite games of all time. I love me some Bloodborne. But if if not, I just hope whatever they're working on, I'm interested in. Because I like From Software, especially with Bloodborne. Um, another, not really a wish, because I wouldn't really be mad if this didn't happen. But I think they could possibly bring back PlayStation All-Stars. Yeah, that uh, Smash Bros. clone that many people, you know, kind of shunned and didn't really try. I played it. I actually liked uh, PlayStation All-Stars a lot. I'm a fan of Smash Bros. So seeing the PlayStation characters in that, you know, aspect was pretty cool to me. I think Sony's crazy enough to do another one. Uh, many people might not, you know, be happy with it. But I like I said, Sony does a lot of crazy things where you think they wouldn't do it again. And this is one where I think they would. <laughs> Uh, moving on to another kind of prediction slash wish is a PSVR AAA game. There was a rumor that came out about Santa Monica working on a AAA VR game. And I think Sony wants to push the conversation that VR is here to stay. So I think along with a AAA game and a price drop, I think we'll go a long way for VR this E3 and leading into the holiday season. So if they can do both of those, I think we'll help the conversation with VR. I plan on picking up a VR I'm just waiting to see if they drop the price. If not, I'm still going to get it. I've just been waiting to see if they're going to do a price drop. I don't want to be foolish and spend that money that I don't need to. Uh, moving on, I kind of get back into predictions more so, less than wishes. Um, I think the AAA partnerships we're going to see on the stage this year, Destiny 2, Call of Duty World War 2, Star Wars Battlefront 2, and Red Dead Redemption. I think we'll all get trailers for those games. I'm hoping to see a gameplay trailer for Red Dead Redemption 2. We know it got delayed to next year, but I think they're going to come with a, a gameplay trailer. It's not like Rockstar to really show up on the E3 stage, but I think this has a possibility of happening. If anywhere it's if anybody's stage is going to be on, of course, I think it'll be Sony since they got the partnership with them. Um another prediction that I went with is Final Fantasy 7 remake and Kingdom Hearts 3. I think those two games we're going to see trailers for we just, you know, heard the developer talk about how those games he hopes to come out, have come out within the next three years. Now, I don't think that means 2020. I just think it means within the three years. So anywhere from probably next year to that time, then I think we could predict that these games come out. Now, I think Final Fantasy Remake is supposed to be coming out in parts anyway. So I think if they can get part one ready, I think we'll see that in a few years, maybe like 2019. But I think Kingdom Hearts 3 has the potential to come out next year, like the end of next year. Um, but I'm not sure because Final Fantasy 7 actually had a development shift where they're going to be focusing it more in-house, which means like I think they were partnering with CyberConnect to work on the game. Maybe they're out and now it's more in-house. I don't know about that game. Maybe that one can slip to even later, like 2020. But I think Kingdom Hearts 3, it, oh, it's been way too long. It's almost five years since they showed Kingdom Hearts 3. Like, come on, let's get the ball rolling. Let's get this game out. Um, moving on now, I think they're going to end the show with some last of us two gameplay. I was, um, thinking to myself, and I even said this on Twitter when they originally showed the last of us, it was, um, at the, uh, video game awards. They dropped the reveal of last of us. It was a cinematic trailer. And then that E3, I believe it was, they showed the vertical slice gameplay. I think they're going to follow that same formula and give us a last of us two gameplay trailer. I hope so, because they said it was early development, but I think Naughty Dog Studio is big enough to at least work on a vertical slice for the game. I don't think we'll see a release date because I don't think this game is coming until 2019, but I think they're going to ramp up the gameplay trailers and stuff like that from here on out. So I think they're going to close the show with that. Um, again, 
this uh, game early in development. So it's a possibility. It's a strong possibility that that might not happen. Now, Sony's conference as a whole, I found really hard to predict because and easy at the same time, though, because a lot of it is going to be showing us more of what they've shown us and kind of giving us concrete release dates for some of this stuff. So as far as surprises, I have no idea other than Sucker Punch's new IP. Um, maybe Sony Japan is working on a new IP. I'm not sure because they're a big studio as well. So that would be nice to see. And maybe they got some third party exclusives. But that's kind of what I got for Sony's press conference. Um, I think it would be some new features, maybe a PlayStation Now revamp, a price cut for PlayStation 4 and the PlayStation 4 Pro um, to help combat maybe, you know, Scorpio. Uh, I said the VR price cut. And maybe if they're crazy enough, give us a PlayStation 4 handheld. Like I said in the last video that I made, they need to just go ahead and copy the Switch and make that happen. But that's been my predictions for Sony's E3 press conference. Let me know down in the comment section what you guys think. Any predictions y'all got? Anything y'all felt that I missed that y'all feel is like a strong possibility of happening? Let me know down in the comment section. Be sure to subscribe, like the video, uh, just check out the channel, man. If you're here, if you're new here, drop a comment. Let me know what y'all thought about this video, and I'll catch y'all on my next one. Peace.